Billy Graham's granddaughter proves Apple falls far from tree with attack on Trump in a Tuesday appearance on CNN. The granddaughter of evangelist Billy Graham called Trump supporting evangelicals hypocritical and called for any ideas on a new term for evangelical Christians. My president doesn't have to be a Christ follower. My president doesn't have to be a Christian, Jerusha Armfield, Graham's granddaughter, told CNN's Pamela Brown. However, I think my rub is when the evangelicals are coming up and posing, Trump, as the godly candidate. According to PJ Media, when asked by Brown if there ought to be a new name for evangelicals, Armfield responded affirmatively. I'd love any ideas on a new term, Pamela, Armfield replied, saying the evangelical was coined primarily to depict a branch of Christianity that was breaking itself away from fundamentalism. Now fast forward, you know, 20 years, it really kind of has started to represent, especially in the 2016 election, a branch of Christians that seemed to be a little more conservative and a little bit more hypocritical. She added that evangelical now means Christians who are a little bit more willing to compromise on the personal morals of a candidate in lieu of what politically they could gain for their party. And as for her uncle, Trump supporter Franklin Graham, Armfield seemed to intimate that he wasn't sufficiently informed enough to opine on politics. You know, unlike her, I think my uncle leads an incredible humanitarian ministry that's been on the front lines before a lot of ministries have been there. I think he probably needs to stick to doing that, Armfield said. I think he believes he's speaking to a larger audience than he is. Again, completely unlike her. As PJ Media's Tyler O'Neill pointed out, Billy Graham's granddaughter hit on a few good points, but presumed too much. O'Neill pointed to several facts that should make Christians wary about co-signing for Trump as Christian of the Year. After all, this is a twice-divorced man who once said he had never asked God for forgiveness, kind of a big red flag in a religion, where that's one of the central tenets. That said, another of the central tenets of the Christian faith is that everyone, even the most craven amongst us, can repent, change and become more godly. There have been signs, both small and large, that the president is taking steps in a religious direction. And in the end, Graham's granddaughter wasn't terribly concerned about the president's moral failings. As O'Neill points out, Armfield saved most of her venom for excoriating Trump over the traditional liberal crime of having ostracized the outliers. Jesus did tell his disciples to love everyone, even their enemies, O'Neill writes. However, that does not translate into use government to steal from the rich and redistribute to the poor. Christians in their individual capacity need to help others, but nowhere does Jesus support a government that uses force to legislate charity. Furthermore, even if evangelicals felt that Trump didn't necessarily share their values privately, the Democrats have more or less condemned those values publicly. This was a party running on the legacy of a president who once infamously derided a certain class of voter by saying that they cling to guns or religion or antipathy to people who aren't like them. You don't need to believe that Donald Trump is the second coming of R.C. Sproul to realize Hillary Clinton represented a continuation of her party's rhetorical and legislative disdain toward people of faith. That fact alone would be enough to convince any evangelical that Trump whatever his failings may be, was worth taking a chance on. Either way, it's pretty obvious from Tuesday's appearance that the apple cannon does oft fall far from the tree. Felicitously for Ms. Armfield, it just so happened to have fallen into a place that's always popular with the mainstreamed media. For that reason alone, one can expect to see a lot more of her in the coming months and years where she can no doubt co-opt her grandfather's legacy in the service of the liberal agenda. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on what Armfield had to say.